101. Stardom 101. Stardom 101. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. Shine your light on today's tastemakers and innovators. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. It's Starter 101 Magazine Podcast here back on iHeartRadio. Thank you guys once again for tapping into this show, this platform, which is for the independent. The people out there literally doing their thing, literally uh, putting in that work behind the scenes, uh, blood, sweat, and tears, uh, putting in great, great content, great projects, great works. And today, I got no other than my guy, One Random Nine, on the line with me. We're going to chop it up about his book, his career, and things that he's working on currently. What's going on, bro? How you feeling? I'm chilling, man. Life is life, but I yep. just let it be. There you go. Life is life. Always be water. Adaptable <laughs> to a new jar, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you guys don't know, it's Super Bowl Sunday, but we work. <laughs> always. Always. Always got to put that work in. Always got to make time for you and your craft. And today uh, we want to talk about uh, this book, man. You got a book uh, that you publish. Uh, first of all, what's the title of the book? And can you let us know a little bit of uh, what the book is about? Uh, the title of the book is called The Baxter Bunch and the Cabana Amulet. Mm-hmm. It's about a family of ninjas that were raised and trained as mercenaries, but the people that raised and trained them for five years, you know, screw them over and they kind of kill everybody and got to start over from scratch. Wow. Okay. Finding and- out that, you know, their great great grandfather is the reason why the government is out for their head and unraveling the mysteries of the world. Pretty nice. Much. Got you. Got you. And how long did it take you to compose uh, compose this book? Put this piece of literature together. Actually, the first book actually only took me a month of anger. Wow, that's it. Just that fast. That's crazy. Only a month of anger. Mm-hmm. Of anger. I see. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> An entire uh, month of rage, and that's what I was able to come up with. Wow. So literature literally is your is your outlet. So did anyone uh get, tell me about your literature background? Did anyone kind of teach you um that fine art, that that piece, or did you did you study for it? Did you go to school for it? Like was you self-taught? How did you get into that no, whole realm? This is kind of like my talent. It kind of just came to me when I was in wow. high school. Teachers would get my creative writing teacher would give me like, you know, prompts different from my class. Sometimes I would create different ways of doing my write my written pieces when I was in school. So it's like, I guess writing has always been my thing, but I, I hate reading. So it's like it was never really something I would think to take serious. Wow. OK, that's what's up. Do you ever think about taking your literature to uh, developing it into theater, uh, the big stage? You know, some people take that book Actually, and they bring it yeah, to life. This book okay. is supposed to be. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, please. Go my book is actually supposed to be an anime. Wow. I plan on turning it into an anime. Wow, that's huge. So that's in the developments right now. You're thinking about uh, pursuing that that lane? Yeah, I just got to figure out how to get it in the right ear. Yeah. I guess this is how I do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. Tell me about the platforms the book uh, is currently on right now. Right now, it's just on Amazon, and I sell it via email. If you contact me on any social media, if you want the book, it's only 15 bucks. So it's, that's up, that's it's up. available. Just about any well on Kindle, I want to say just about only okay. there. Okay, that's what's up. So we got the book out right now, of course, and then of course another uh, creative realm that you divide, uh, dive in is your music. Um, yeah. First of all, your music background. Give me a little background on yourself. Uh, when did the music really um, resonate with you to the point where you wanted to pursue it uh, as a career professionally? Well, I've always been, I guess, a lyricist. I always wrote down things I thought were witty and, you know, nice and, you know, kind of just tucked it tucked it to the side and never really paid it too much mind because it's like I never was an upfront kind of guy. I didn't do that until I kind of grew into it as an adult, actually. Mm-hmm. But um, it originally started, I was trying to impress a girl. And no, I did not impress the girl. Don't even ask her. <laughs> Don't even ask about her. No, it a... didn't work out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it then turned into trying to branch out and bond with my siblings because they're both 
I feel like they're both more creative in, you know, the music round. Mm, I see. I but see. then, you know, that kind of didn't f- pan out neither. So it's like now doing it for me, I enjoy performing. Ah. And my grandma passed. I wasn't able to be there at her funeral because I, I was trying to make sure my life was set and all that. But I missed out on a very important moment in my life. Mm. So I perform mainly for her watching down. Sad. That's what's up. Coming, so. That's what's up. And so this upcoming music, is it is a new single you got coming out right now? You got a new I EP? I actually have an EP and an album I'm working on. Okay. I have okay. a single out now called Came to Say. It's on Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify. Um, But I do have music on SoundCloud mm-hmm. and stuff, but not a lot of people on SoundCloud. Mm. The EP... I plan on redropping, remastering because I've upgraded my equipment. Mm-hmm. I'm an engineer and producer as well. Oh wow! Okay. Um, and uh, it's yeah, I do a lot. That's I kind of got, I kinda got off, off track a little bit. I feel yeah, like. that's fine. That's good. It's cool. We are gonna put it back on point, man. So the EP, you think that's gonna be out sometime? Uh, end of the year. Yeah, that's gonna be out very, very soon. Okay, gotcha, you, gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Are you big on collaborations? Um, when you're doing your your projects, like features with other people, you just really like doing your own thing. Well, I'm open to working with people. People mm-hmm. that are open to working with me, you know. Mm-hmm. I uh, also have my own company that I base around myself, which is Randopia. So it's money management. I pretty much help myself finance a lot of the things that i do okay so you straight independent yeah so I, I am more independent but i would like to work more with people i feel like i will work better with the team but with the team uh, gotcha okay if the right situation joined, presents yeah, I itself did join a music group called present future at the okay. beginning of this year so mm-hmm. shout out to present future we in the building nice nice um so i was like i'm starting to branch out and working with people figuring out where i fit in this music round because i i'm still figuring it out Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so but my ep is called uh uh the voyage nice the art of dying nice 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 for you do you do you like uh doing the creative visual work too i know you said the anime earlier yeah i Um, do i do actually design stuff too nice Uh, my designs currently I had paid for weren't done by me, but future projects I plan on doing a lot of my graphics for myself. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Do you um engineer for anybody else too, or do you inspire to do any? I have engineered nice. for one person. Okay, I had my first official studio session in at the be at, in the middle of January. I was very excited. Nice, and nice, turned, nice. I, I feel like the song turned out pretty good. It was very clear. He, you could hear his words. Uh huh. The beat was mixed. Nice. Right? Good, good. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. What about um shows, bro? I know um the spring season is coming up, right? A lot of people hit the stage. A lot of festivals come outside. Um, you know how it go. This is the weather breaking. Everybody's really just gigging. Are you big on uh shows, performances, meet and greets, or are you really trying to get a job, get out there that way this summer, this this year as well? Yeah, I've actually performed all over uh, Philadelphia and accidentally performed in New York. So it's like nice. I do plan on dabbling into different states and cities. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. getting life together. That's what's first. up, man. And I, now I see that you are into the gaming industry, which is man, you know, that's booming right now. Lord have mercy, Twitch and all kinds of stuff. Tell me about that. Uh, tell me about that lane, that industry. What what intrigues you about that? And is there anything that you're working on? And that I done figured out uh-huh. with my creativity, I done figured out how to mix, how to perfectly mix all of the things that we just talked about: my writing, my music, into gaming. What? Wow. I'll beat a game three to five times and then come up with a storyline for myself based on the characters, the scenery, the locations. Just because I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> Just because I'm bored. <laughs> That's what's and up, man. I started 
working on something in 2013 when my older brother formed his, you know, GTA group, you mm -hmm. know, his GTA crew. Mm -hmm. uh, a TV series made comprised out of video game clips mm. constructed to formulate an actual show. Wow. Okay. So instead of writing this series of what if, I'm creating it through video game clips. the video game oh that's fire though i see what you're saying that creative realm okay that's what's then up man. i put my music on and you know if i get somebody that likes the idea see that it can go somewhere i put their music into the uh mix and uh -huh. you know it'll be an it'll be a it'll be like we're watching you know power but you know video game clips Wow, that's good. That's good stuff right there, man. Any other projects, any other things that you're working on, exciting, that we can kind of be on the lookout for as we continue to open up the new year? Uh, well, I have a few more books that I have written, not published. Mm -hmm. Um, Like I said, the album, The Voyage, Unconscious Unknown, I'm very looking, I'm looking forward to dropping that, letting that off my heart, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, honestly, that's all I can say. That's what's up. That's what's up. There it is, folks. You heard from the one, the only, my guy was in the building. We talked about his EP, his book. Make sure y'all go support that on Amazon um, as well. Um, the EP is being remastered. Uh, the single is out now. The album is on the way. You know what it is. We appreciate you so much, bro, for tapping in. It's one random nine. Philly in the building. What's going on? <laughs> you know how it is. That's what's Let's up. Go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, random Mike. That's what's up, man. I appreciate you, man. It's Startle Magazine, AHA Radio. This is another episode of On the Rise featuring my guy, the one and only one random nine in the building. We got see you guys next week again with another dope episode. You know what we do. We feature the people that's doing their thing. And my guy, my guest today definitely fit the bill. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Peace. Are you on the rise to stardom? Well, get featured in the next issue of Stardom 101 Magazine and promote your business or products today. Text MAG to 804-550-8647 or visit stardom101mag.net. You're listening to the Stardom 101 Magazine podcast with Christopher Boykin. Be sure to subscribe and download this episode and continue to listen to Stardom on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts.